What it is, what it do is text post TV. Exposing the good, the great, and the ugly. You gotta go fuck with me on IG. That's at Texpose TV. Two X's. Don't forget the T. Hey, anyways, they had to come drop this extended version of Unk, man. It's the full audio, the full audio. Unk explaining why he got arrested. Like, comment, subscribe. Fort Worth Police Department hit me with a no bond on a warrant charge. So I had to go see the magistrate this morning. Uh, I saw the magistrate last night by 7 o'clock. Uh, the bond was posted by 1 a.m. in the morning. Uh, because I got some issues with the local police department, an officer by the name of Tracy Carter, uh, they were shifting and shucking the paperwork around, trying to jive a nigga. But niggas so many, I'm talking about half the city came out. Boy, they called Sheriff Bill Wayburn. Boy, they were calling everybody. Let me, let me tell you what happened when I got there, right? So as soon as I got to the jail, nigga, the judge bring me straight up. Shout out to Court 10, Judge Lofton. Boy, my lawyer went to Judge Lofton, judge, but he had already met with Judge Lofton that, that Friday. So Judge Lofton sent the bailiff down to book in. They had me booked in in about 30 minutes. So as I'm going in the book in, there are some, some, there's two white boy police officers from Kansas City coming to go pick a nigga up and take him back to Kansas City. Boy, when I walked through the door, they said, Charleston, oh my goodness, not Charleston White. The arresting officer said, hey, man, we watch all the video. The jailer said, boy, what you, more? So they, why, why they treated me so nicely and kindly and showed me so much love. Uh, people called the sheriff. So, Soon as I hit the flow, boy, them niggas went crazy. Boy, they boom, 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 Charleston White, Charleston White. So the chief, chief make a phone call. Get his ass off that flow right now. Boy, they rush my motherfucking ass. Listen, listen. Chief, I'm thinking, man, oh, shit, I'm finna get booked out. Man, they go take my motherfucking ass and put me in 24-hour lockdown where a nigga don't even come out to sale. Ho, 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 I don't want to do this. I'd rather go to general population and fight. Nigga, I, got, I can squabble a little bit. I don't want to be by myself. No, that's the worst place. 24-hour isolation? Yeah, they been having nigga ass 24 hours to shower and that nigga don't come out to sale for nothing. And then when a nigga get a visitor, they bring the TV in front of the door. Man, I don't get to go to visitation. They said, nah, uh, uh Man, what I do to get over here? Mother said, you a famous YouTuber. Man, I ain't famous at home. Man, Population where nothing else. I can talk to a nigga, play dominoes and call. Man, I ain't got nothing to do with her. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, one thing about Tarrant County, when your ass go to jail in Tarrant County, get your ass up out that bitch. But it didn't take me 24. Yeah, it did. Because I got arrested nine something yesterday morning. Got lying to me. I made bun at one o'clock. I pulled in out at seven o'clock this morning. But they tried to put some motherfucking conditions on me. Yeah, they tried to give me a motherfucking me, uh, GPS tracking monitor. Uh, uh, what else? Home confinement? Yeah, they tried to act like I done killed somebody. And I ain't done none of what they said I did. Uh, they said, uh, yeah, they said I done the two niggas. Yeah, I ain't done nothing to niggas. So, yeah, uh, still the high they say, nigga, every week you go viral. That's what. I've been locked up. Uh, on top of the man, we ain't even got past the interview money for the goddamn me stage event. Here go another interview and motherfucking another event. Go bring in a bunch of goddamn money for Charlie. And I got a motherfucking me bad ass motherfucking lawyer, Andrew Platt. If you ever get in trouble in the Dallas Fort Worth area, nigga, go get Andy Platt. Even his, even his secretary, Michelle. Uh, man, but shout out to Judge Lofton. Uh, shout out to the, 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 the bailiffs and the, and the marshals and the sheriff in Judge Lofton court. Man, uh, they showed me so much favor and love. Uh, I appreciate them. My beef has been with this one black officer called Tracy Carter. He mad because the white boy's supervisors and superiors love me. Now, shit, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But nigga, guess what? I ain't never lost in the criminal justice system. 
Uh, I go hire attorneys, nigga. And one thing the old nigga always told me, nigga, it's easy to put your money up and put a lot of money in. State cases, you can pay for them state cases, but nigga, you can't, you can't pay for them fed cases. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't buy them fed cases. You can't get no lawyer to beat them fed cases because them fed want your ass. I just got two, three bullshit ass state cases. Nigga, that ain't shit when you got money. Yeah, yeah, that ain't shit when you got money, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, if I didn't have no money, nigga, I'd be in trouble. Ooh, nigga, be in the world of trouble if nigga didn't have no money. But nigga, I got plenty of goddamn money, nigga. <laughs> Say, and to the nigga that was in sale, 17. Man, I lost your CID number. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, nigga out of Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, then caught him a cap murder. They done dropped it from cap murder to robbery. He done went from 60 years to 20 years to 10 years. And he been in there four years holding on, trying to do that 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nigga, how your brother called that booking number uh, so I can give you some Christmas money? Because, nigga, you made sure I kept getting that phone. That nigga kept sending that phone down there. He said, Charles the White needs to need the phone. Soon as I walked in that motherfucking 24-hour isolation confinement, that nigga said, say, is that Charles the White? Oh, I've been hearing about you. I've been here five years hearing about you. Boy, they say you talk that shit. And that nigga made sure I got that phone to call mama, to call my wife, to call the lawyer. Oh, he made sure the phone stayed in front of my door. So I told that nigga, say, my nigga, you don't even know me. And you sending love like that. Nigga, I'm about to make bond. Uh, I'm going to put $50 on your books for Christmas. And lost that nigga CID number being so excited to change clothes and put my clothes back on and left that nigga shit down there in the booking room. So if his brother listening, his name is D-Lo. Nigga out of Omaha, Nebraska. I can't think of his real name, but he was cousin them niggas ass to death. Yeah, cuz. Yeah, cuz. Yeah, cuz. So I listened to that nigga for 12 hours and realized he really a good nigga. Yeah, he checking the young niggas, they jacking off and cussing out the nurses and shit. Yeah, yeah. So if you got a brother named D-Lo and you from Omaha, Nebraska, and he done caught these motherfucking capital murder cases down here in Fort Worth, with that shit, and he been in and out of prison all his life, nigga, I, yeah, he gonna give you a number to call, call that booking number, go go to my email, and nigga, I'm gonna put money on that nigga book for Christmas. Yeah, 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 yeah. He say mama can't put none on her till after the fur. I told him, nigga, I got you for Christmas, and I don't want to look like no liar. I may not ever in life see this nigga again, but boy, I sure hate to be a liar to a nigga. Yeah, yeah, they thought they had me. Ah, oh, he got a no bond. Man, that's just part of the procedures till you see the magistrate. If you niggas no law, that's part of the procedures till you see the magistrate, nigga. Now, if you got some tickets, then yeah. But, nigga, you got to get that bond set. Then you can come on out of there. Once they set the bond, it's going to be an 8 to 12 hour process, depending on how slow first shift feel and depending on how second shift feel about first shift moving slow. That's the only way that's going to go. But, nigga, that lawyer came and saw me, you'll be out today. You'll be out today. <laughs> yeah, shout out to my tour manager that flew in town to come meet with the lawyer. I'm talking about the whole the city came out for a nigga. Oh, they doing him wrong. These are bogus charges. These is not right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, y'all stay tuned and stay locked in. Uh, we viral again. So uh, more interviews coming soon. Yeah, free now, nah, now nah, free, free D Lo. He be said, yeah, 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 yeah. He was running with them stop six niggas. So if y'all know, man, tell that nigga I want, I want that nigga to have some a crisp, spend the whole fifty for Christmas. That nigga made sure I got the car. He kept sitting that phone. Cause what they do is, the nigga that's on twenty four hour lockdown, they drag the phone down in front of their room. I kept saying, man, fuck, I'm up here for. Hey. Excuse me, man. What am I for? Man, I ain't done nothing to be here, bro. They said, boy, you know you a celebrity. I said, but I ain't no celebrity at home. Y'all don't treat me like now. Yeah, yeah, nah, I ain't no motherfucking celebrity at home. Yeah, everybody know me here. Man, same shit. But boy, them niggas were going crazy. Well, every time I walked through, Charles and White. Charles, they go, Charles, Charles, what's up, man? I walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, man, these niggas like me in jail, I see. Not only do the niggas like me, the jailers like me. Yeah, yeah, the jailers like me in jail. The white boy jailers, the nigga jailers, the female black jailers. Yeah, they like me in jail. I don't want to go back, though. Fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah, they can like me all they want to. I didn't like it there. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't like it there at all. Nigga, it was cold. Uh, and they don't let you wear socks. Yeah, I ain't know they ain't let nigga wear socks in jail. Y'all mad the motherfucker toes cold. 
So we got more comedy content that go have you niggas ass laughing on stage. Guess what? Nigga, I'm facing 20 years, they say. They just don't know, nigga. This, this, I done had an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon case before. Guess what? Dropped. And they had me camera pointing that motherfucker at a nigga. Dropped. Yeah, yeah, I was always told you better not go in there with no black attorney. So guess what I go get? A Jewish attorney? Yeah, yeah, y'all go get a, a that's real respected and within the court system. Yeah, the judges like him, the prosecutors respect him. Everybody wave to him when he come in and he real nice. And he a mixed martial artist, tall, kind of kind of nerdy like white dude but it kick your motherfucking ass because he long yeah yeah he long he can put you in one of them chokehold moves make you tap out andrew platt andy platt best lawyer in the motherfucking city it used to be carl mallory but andy platt now he's expensive i tell all niggas don't go down there talking about you want to make payments niggas go with a big lump sum and every time you go to court shoot him a lump sum nigga and boy watch how he work for you and that's how i learned to win nigga money 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 now, mama say, boy, I hope this your last rodeo. My wife called damn near crying, saying, is he all right? Mama said, this ain't that boy for a rodeo. And, yeah, this ain't his for a rodeo. And my wife said, well, yeah, I know it ain't, but our rodeos are different. My mom said, girl, please, hey, Lord, Lord, I already knew about it. So, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. They had the women crying and worry, but mama go stand. Yeah, mama go be still and know that God exists. So mama go pray, and I'm going to call on mama to pray. I ain't go pray. Yeah, yeah, I ain't go pray. I'm going to be in there saying, come on, God. She know this some bullshit. Yeah, man, fuck this shit. Yeah, man, come on. Oh God, and do me some push up, yeah, yeah, and do me some push up, yeah, 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 yeah. So I've been in there pushing up, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how I learned. Yeah, nigga, just say, come on, God, and do push ups, and say, fuck this shit, nigga. Uh, yeah, nigga, Martin Luther King, if you talk that shit like you the new leader, all the leaders got to go through this shit, nigga. You already knew when you done this. What I told myself. I said, nigga, you already knew when you done that Cam Newton podcast and you brought up that Officer Garrett Hull shit and how Dacian stepped over killed Officer Garrett Hull and you talked about how you had security against the police like you a bad motherfucker. Nigga, you knew they were coming to strike you. You already knew them people. You already knew Fort Worth Police Department. You done dug that Officer Garrett Hull story up and these people don't know they killed that boy without no motherfucking due process. Man, you know they go get you, nigga. I already knew it. So after this happened, I called. So when that video went, when the Cam Newton video went viral, I called Cam Newton and said, say my nigga, uh, I just put a target on my back. He said, what? I said, yeah, man, uh, remember I talked about that police officer getting killed? He said, yeah. I said, nigga, they got two felony warrants out for my arrest right now. And that was two weeks ago. He said, what? He said, man, whatever you need. If you need a lawyer, you need bail money. This is what Cam Newton said. If you need a lawyer, you need whatever you need, just let me know. He said, you shouldn't have talked about it. I said, once you, once you took me there, homie, I was open to the world. That's, that's part of, once you, I, I can't, yeah, so, uh. Yeah, so they put a target on my back because Officer Garrett Hull was a very high-ranking police officer. And my homeboy son, nigga, was a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I called Cam. So I called a few other people in the industry and said, hey, uh, the Cam Newton interview was great. Oh, man, it was wonderful. I said, yeah, it just put a target on my back in my city. So I went and moved out the city. So after that, right, so I went and moved out the city. I went and bought me a house in Dallas. So that's why y'all been seeing me at the new spot. Because, nigga, they mad in the motherfucker. The world know about the Garrett Hull and Dacian Steptoe story. But it wasn't about Dacian Steptoe. It was about the mother and the father who I held security for, who had nothing to do with their son's decision to kill a police officer. But they were being punished and their life was being threatened. Uh, and I stand with my people and my kind, and they didn't like that. And then that shit went viral, me talking, so they said, nah, we fit a humble, this little nigga. And they want my guns. Yeah, yeah, they want my guns. Yeah, 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 they want my guns. So I moved to a home that don't have too many guns, and don't nobody know where I'm at. So I went and moved to a home that don't have, you know, no guns. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And mostly all my guns are, are, are some are registered to me, but most are registered to my wife. So, uh. So I make my wife go get a CHL. So every broad I try to fuck with, I try to make them go get a gun license. Every broad, I don't care who I'm fucking. Bitch, go get your gun license. I don't care if I'm fucking you on the side. Go get your gun license. Yeah, 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 yeah. I try to fuck with a bitch that can get a gun license. So yeah, 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 yeah. So I just got out. So I've been out for about an hour and a half now. I had to go pick my car from Labor Detail. Oh, uh, so I got to go check in 
uh, with the bond in the morning. Uh, go see my lawyer so we can go back to the courts. Uh, yeah, yeah. In in the cold thing about this shit, nigga. Uh, because I did that interview. Never before in my life. Never before in my life have I been considered armed and dangerous. But for some reason today, as I ride around through my city, uh, our local police department have classified me as being armed and dangerous. Ain't that some shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. They wrong in the motherfucker. They trying to get a nigga killed. But that's why I never wanted to come out and show Charleston. I always wanted to play the fool, the ignorant, crazy nigga. He dumb. He, I never wanted Charleston to be seen because I ain't want to be done like Malcolm and Martin, my nigga. I want to fuck hold. I don't want these people trying to kill me. I'd rather for the niggas to try to kill me. Because the niggas just emotionally, when these white folk realize who you are, nigga, and what you are to your people, nigga, it's over with. And they go use a nigga to get you every time. Nigga, Dr. King didn't get brought out on that balcony without Jesse. Malcolm. Malcolm, so they sent a nigga to hit me in the head with a gun, and the nigga they sent was a killer. The nigga they sent was a killer. I chased, well, I didn't chase after the killer. I chased into the building with my gun to go rescue my wife because the killer was still in the building. The killer was still in the building. Some kind of way, they got me on video proceeding in the building with my gun as if I was chasing after the killer. Now, the killer don't get charged for hitting me in the head with the gun, but I get charged for responding to getting hit in the head with the gun, chasing after the killer. I'm out on bond for getting hit in the head with a gun, chasing after the two killers who hit me in the head with the gun, and these are documented killer gangbangers. This is my second time having to fight charges against these goddamn gang members fucking with me. This is my second time getting charged with an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon with these gang member killer niggas fucking with me. So I'm out on bond for a faux trade gangster crip OG nigga attack me in here snitch, a FBI snitch, and he mad because I called him snitch and nigga cracked me across the cranium with a pistol. Yeah, so they say I chased after him with my gun. They lying like a motherfucker. They lying on Charlie. I ain't chasing after them nigga with my gun. They lying like a motherfucker. But they say they got me on video doing it. I say they lying. That's a doctored up video. Yeah, yeah, where the whole video is. That's a doctored up motherfucking video. They lying like a motherfucker, y'all. Yeah, 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 they lying. They ain't, nah, I ain't chasing after no nigga. I went to get the license plate number and rescue my wife out the building. Yeah, yeah, I went to get the license plate number and rescue my wife out the building after being hit in the head with a pistol by a nigga 6'4", 290-some pounds. That nigga was the size of the nigga couldn't whoop furry. What's the name of the nigga couldn't whoop the white boy furry? The nigga was the size of that nigga hit me in the head, and I still got the scar on my head. But, boy, I told him, I said, nigga, that Cam Newton interview, nigga, the next day, when I, when I returned home from that Cam Newton video, and that bitch reached one million, two million. I got a call from the detective saying we got two felony warrants out for your ass. And then they come back and say we got a cruelty to animal charge. I said, man, what the fuck? Then I thought, I said, man, you know what? They did call me about a year and a half ago about a cat that supposedly got maced in a video. I said, that wasn't me. I ain't maced no motherfucking cat. I didn't, you ain't got no video of me making no cat. They said, well, somebody screenshot and screen record this and send this in. I said, man, that ain't even real. And so uh, they said, uh, well, you might want to be careful because people are screen recording. So they done trumped up and put all these charges on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so guess what my lawyer said? We'll win. Now, normally, no, normally don't too many lawyers can be confident and tell you that we can win. Uh. My other attorney friend said, well, Charleston, from the looks of this, this seems like this is retaliatory. This is retaliatory of charges from the Fort Worth Police Department. My other lawyer friend, my police buddy from retired from the police department, said, yeah, you know they're after you, Charleston. So, uh, nigga, I done came out and revealed my true self, that Charleston White is a real community leader. And nigga, they sound now. So, nigga, I got to fight like I'm the leader, nigga. And guess what I'm going to do? I got plenty of money, nigga, to fight like I'm the leader. 
I'm gonna say it again, nigga. I got plenty motherfucking money, nigga. I make plenty motherfucking money, nigga. I'm the hottest motherfucking nigga on the internet, nigga. Yeah, nigga, send me an extra sandwich in jail if I needed an extra sandwich, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I keep telling you, niggas, I'm a god to you, niggas, nigga. I'm the most talked about human next to Jesus, nigga. Ever since I was a little bitty boy, I saw the movie The Mac. And nigga, when I heard that nigga go to say, I'm gonna have motherfuckers talking about me like they was talking about Jesus. When I was a little bitty boy and I heard that, I said, me too. I said, me too. And nigga, I grew up and I got motherfuckers talking about me like they talk about Jesus, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. This don't add number to the repertoire, nigga. Cause guess what? One thing they gonna say that little nigga stand on it. One, see, cause they were trying to. Lie. That by me getting hit in the head, they didn't know. No, 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 and the police know they wrong in the motherfucker, my nigga. The police know they wrong in the motherfucker. We got three witnesses that place a gun in his hand when he hit me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I just made it to my new home. Yeah, I just made it to my new home. I've been telling my wife, baby, we need to go and sell this motherfucking house. Man, let's fuck this Fort Worth shit. We done got too big for Fort Worth, baby. So without the wife, I went and bought me a house in Dallas. I went and got me a house in Dallas. So me and my wife, I live over there, and I live over here. But she still want to stay in Fort Worth. I'm a D-town nigga now. Shit, I got a Dallas address. Yeah, yeah, I got a Dallas address. And boy, I just made it to the house. Ain't nothing like home. That's when you have been in jail. Boy, ain't nothing like home. And niggas acting like I'm finna be gone forever. Nigga, I ain't facing no motherfucking 20 years, nigga. And I ain't even fired a gun. Fuck around with you, dumb ass nigga. Y'all ain't even fired a pistol, nigga. And what you niggas gotta take into account is there's always things called mitigating factors and mitigating circumstances. So never before in the history of people committing crimes have a victim been assaulted and the victim turn around and get charged with aggravated assault now i'm the victim of, of aggravated assault crime where i get hit in the head with the pistol but i get turned around and charged man a jury that ain't gonna hold up so we ready to fight this motherfucking case and i'm gonna talk about it publicly and openly nigga because i know i'm gonna win yeah 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 we home baby at the new motherfucking house we home, baby. That's the new motherfucking house. Turn around. And we got styles in this motherfucker like we got styles in the other house. Ah. <laughs> yeah, they thought they had me. Yeah, nigga. Ah. Yeah, we had plenty of motherfucking money. Oh, I might need. I, I'm finna go fuck wifey tonight. Boy, I'm finna go put that dick in wifey tonight. She deserve a good fucking. Oh, I'm finna go put that dick in my girl tonight. Oh, she deserve a good fucking. I'm finna go fuck shit out of wife. Yeah, I'm finna go fuck shit out of wife. She, she, she earned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, gonna fuck this in an Airbnb, man? Please, nigga, we ain't. Airbnb being around here, nigga. We living. Nigga, you can't come to no Airbnb and go to putting your shit up around here like this, girl. Hey, you can't do this in no motherfucking Airbnb, nigga. You can't Airbnb in no motherfucking You can't just come lay your shit all around no motherfucking Airbnb like this, here, man. You can't do this kind of shit, my nigga. Hell no. You can't leave no motherfucking Airbnb. Man, Google told y'all made two million. That's just what they know. That don't even include the Say Cheese TV money and the real life street stars money. No, 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 nigga. I went and bought this machine right here. 
I still got my shit in here. Still got my little dishes right there. I slept on the couch before I left. Uh, let me see. I still, I still got my chili. Now, mama came and brought me this. Mama brought this for the house. Mama brought this for the house. Mama brought this for the house. Uh, let me see what else mama brought. Uh, so yeah, nah, nigga, we... Mama says she got the furniture book over here. Oh, yeah, mama brought the furniture book so I can order some more furniture. Yeah, your mama got the furniture book so I can order some more furniture. So here go all the boxes. Shit, nigga, mama brought a nigga plenty of shit. Nah. Shit, mama brought a nigga plenty of shit. Well, you know what I mean? Boy, mama go get a motherfucking Christmas. Get what else she got here. So this for the new furniture just came in. Oh. So yeah, this for the new furniture. I missed trash day yesterday. So this for the new furniture just came in. Uh, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna order some more furniture. Buddy, women take good care of me. What mama them take such good care of me? But they love the shit out there, baby. This the bathroom downstairs right here. Yeah, yeah. This the bathroom downstairs right here. So, so I took all that money. So since I knew I was turning myself in, all that money I had right there, I said, shit, nigga, you can use that for bond money. So I took all that money right there for the bond money. So yeah, now nah, let me cut the lights on, man, so y'all can see the new spot. You know, nigga, the wife wanna stay there, so I oh, shit, man, I went, so I got these two TVs here. I'm gonna put these, so this is where I was eating before I fell asleep. The motherfucking chili right there. Yeah, yeah, nigga. So this is the outfit I had on, y'all see me? So yeah. So I had Dewberry come put this motherfucker here up for me. So we can swing this and Dewberry put that motherfucker here up for me. So what we gonna do is, we gonna turn this into the podcast spot. So we gonna make this the podcast spot, the little old honeycomb hide out. And you know, if them niggas wanna fuck with some bitches, they can fuck with some bitches over here. So. All the money you seen right there, said number one, I went to jail with it. Where is it? I went to jail with that money, just in case I had to pay bond. You see that? Money collected. Money collected. So I had that in the drawer right there, because I knew I had to go turn myself in. You see that right there? So it's the book in paper. The book in. Date of birth, Charleston White, inmate property. So, nigga, I went to jail with that in my pocket. The bomb was 30000 So, nigga, that go to bomb money right there. So, yeah, 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 yeah. 38000 10%. I'm sorry, 15000 15000 1000 So, that's $30,500, right? 10% of that go be 3000 and what? $50. So, nigga, I already know they're going up with, with a little something. These folk, nigga, if nothing else, we shot a four. I done already took the lawyer. I done already took the lawyer five to get on the case. So, I took the lawyer five a week ago. You come in with that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And then, if nothing else, right? If nothing else, we go to trial. But for right now, I got a show this weekend. Jacksonville, Florida. Y'all get them motherfucking tickets. Come sell out that motherfucking show. Because it's finna go down, baby. And then I got another interview with the fan bus on the 22nd. After that, uh, me and Uncle Myrtle. Uh, I think we doing the Danza Project for New Year's Eve. Uh, me and Aiden Ross, we locked in. For new more money, more money, more money, more money. And guess what? More interviews. So... More interviews, baby.